there are some good reasons to do that. There are some reasons to avoid that. And a lot of that really comes down to a very kind of uh, a question of what's happening in your network, what kind of animation you're looking for, uh, and how many samples and channels you're working with. We can see here, if we take a look at what's going on with our stretch, it's not costing us a whole lot. Uh, and it does help us kind of clean up our data and uh, end up with something that looks nice and kind of clean here, which is what we're after at the moment. Now the other thing we'll see is that we're still kind of stuck with this hip prefix. We've got this P1 hip prefix going on here. And so we could actually go ahead and scoot these right on over uh, and clean that up even more. Let's insert a rename. Rename chop. Where'd you go? There you are. And we're going to go ahead and take all the incoming channels and we want to just rename them to T X, Y, Z. There we go. Not so bad. That looks pretty slick so far. And now what we're ending up with is we've got three channels. We've got a TX, a TY, and a TZ channel. And then we can see if we middle mouse click on these that they've got 24 samples a piece. So this is looking pretty good, right? And we can feel pretty good about how this is constructed so far. And now we're kind of getting closer to this kind of construction that we wanted here in terms of what our channel data is going to look like. So now we get to do the kind of fun part of instancing. So let's go ahead in our geo. We're going to turn on the instance parameter here. We're going to go ahead and drag our null right on over. We want TX to be TX. TY to be TY, TZ to be TZ, and we've got some kind of blobby situation here. Uh, so we've got a few things we might think about. Let's go ahead and view this. Uh, we're kind of like this globby, gloopy thing here uh, that's all kind of bound together. So let's go ahead and fix a few things here. We can dive inside first, and we can turn the radius of this situation way, way down. We might go down even to like 0 0.015. That looks pretty good. That's, you know, a much better kind of representation here of what we're after. And I don't think, I think we're all set here with our instance in and world transform this time. So there we can kind of see that we finally got, here when I stand up, it'll recognize my legs once I move those. And I might tip this sensor down just a little bit more. That lost me there for a second. Hold on, stand by. Gotta move around. Get back into its field of view. And it should pick me back up here. There we go. Okay. So I'm still a little bit too close to this thing. That's all right. Woo. There we go. We could see over here, right, in our geo, that we've got a pretty good view of me. We might just need to back our camera up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot my camera back, maybe to say, like, oh, I guess, like, seven. And let's scoot it down a little bit. This will kind of frame me a little bit better. Maybe up just a little bit. There. That looks pretty good. All right. So there we can see a whole bunch of, you know, chunk of joint information for me. We've got my hips here across the bottom. We've got some spine, neck, head uh, instances. And we've got this kind of clever little situation where We've got this nice representation of a body here uh, as these kind of like joint positions, right? So that's pretty slick. That's a pretty good start. Uh, I look really funny when I'm sitting down. It loses its ability to track my legs a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> it looks real goofy, but we can work with this here a little.